So the tools you're going to need for this job are a set of pliers, a hexagonal wrench. These are these little computer uh, wrench packs you can get, as well as a Phillips head screwdriver or flathead screwdriver. Now you can get all of these by hitting one of the links in the description box below if you want to get it on Amazon, or you can pick up all these things at one of your local Walmarts. All right, friends, let's get started. With those tools, basically what we're going to be doing is removing the stand. You can see it kind of pivots like this. Once you lay it over flat, you can actually see where the four screws are connected to the mounting bracket on the back of this computer. Now, I've actually already removed three of those screws. They look like this. You can see they have that little hexagonal head to them. Now, all you need to do is get one of your, your hexagonal wrenches here, and we're going to pop it into the into place right here. Now, if your screws are already loose, this is going to be a very easy process. You're just going to go counterclockwise, obviously, and loosen those guys up. Now, these were actually really tight for me, so I had to actually take my pliers and grip them on top here and give it a good solid turn while I was holding this back. Once that is loose, this actually just pulls right off. Okay, once we have the stand removed, it's gonna give us much better access to the, uh, the back panel here. And what we're gonna to do to remove it is actually access two screws that are right here on the bottom. Now, they will be covered up by these little uh, rubber uh, kind of sealers. And so you can see I've taken off one off the left side already where you can see the Phillips head or a, again, a regular flat head a screw exists there. So to pop these things off, that's where we're gonna use our little uh, flat head key. And I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna pop that right out. You can use a pen or uh, any other kind of really small object, but it's just a little rubber sealer they, that covers it up. Okay, once you have these screws exposed, again, all you need to do is actually give it a quick half turn, and as you can see, it's spring-loaded, and it's gonna pop that bottom right open. Again, you have to do this with both sides, but, uh, but again, once you pop that, that spring, it'll lift it up enough where you can get your screwdriver underneath this, the, uh, the sides here and actually pop the clips. Now, be very careful when you're doing this because you're gonna have to go along all the way around the side and basically get your screwdriver in and pop this, these clips that hold this in. Now again, once you have gone all around, this should just pop up. You can see I just did it like that. Do not yank this thing up though, because it is attached, as you'll see here in a moment, by a couple of different ribbons to the back, as well as the, uh, the disc drive here that you can see. Okay, so the easiest way to remove this ribbon from the DVD drive is to simply come up here and on the back of this, there's gonna be uh, this little connector piece. And that'll just slide right out like that. And you can disconnect the, uh, the ribbon and then move it over to your main computer area. Okay, with our back now removed, it's gonna give us clear access to the hard drive right here. Now again, the hard drive is held in by a couple of different screws. You can see there's one right here as well as a couple others that uh, connect it to the, this actual uh, steel covering right here that helps vent it. It's also connected by a ribbon. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually remove this cable ribbon and uh, pop it over to the side. Okay, with that screw removed, we can actually just slide this entire assembly up and it's gonna actually pull out. And that'll give us much better access to release these two screws that are on this side and two screws on this side and remove the hard drive from that enclosure. Okay, once you have those four screws removed, the enclosure actually just pops right off. We can set that over to the side, and now we have complete access to our hard drive. At this point, if you're putting in a brand new hard drive, you can do that and reverse the steps, just placing everything back in as you removed it. 
All right, friends, I hope that helps. If it has, hit that thumbs up button for us. It really helps us make more great videos and hit the subscribe button. We got a lot more tutorial videos coming up real soon.